Hi everyone, David Maley here from Technohaw, and I'm gonna today I'm gonna show you quickly how to get the month number, month, day, and year from a date field as is shown here very quickly in Excel. So we're gonna use the text formula. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit here and go equals text, and then I pick the first field here, which is a date field, and then I pick quotation marks, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick for month number two M's, just like that, and that gives me the month number. And if I carry that down. I've got the month number for each one of these, regardless. It's not going to give me the year, but that's fine. That's what this last one's for. So next, let's go to this one. So same thing. This instead now, I want to look at the month name. So then what I do is I look at the same first column again, first field, comma, quotation marks, four of these, quotation marks, and I get the actual month name from that. Now, I could go and get rid of one of these and use three, and that gives me the month abbreviation for each of these, and I carry that down. Now, if I want day, what I have to do, the actual day of that, I put text, and then I'm going to put the field again. Let's go click on that, comma, quotation mark, DDDD. -D -D -D. And that gives me the actual day spelled out. Next, if I want year, it's the same thing, but the difference is I'm just going to use text, field, quotation mark, and year, 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 year. Oops, did I put five? Four years, four Ys. And I might put quotation mark at the end. And that gives me the year. And you always want to have the year because if your data flips between years, you want to see the 2023 versus 2024 like this. 